How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We're looking at Workhorse and I kind of put this up late today because I am coming straight from after work. I want to talk about it because it had a big spike today where it went up nearly 10%. So we're going to go over that. I think there are really two main reasons. One, not too many people are covering. A lot of people are covering the second reason. So we're going to cover that. We're going to show you my position in Workhorse. So I do own Workhorse. It's not a huge position for me by any means. But, you know, depending on who you are and how much you invest, this might be a significant portion compared to your portfolio, or it might just be pennies on the dollar uh, for what you have invested in Workhorse. So we're going to get into it. But before we do, if you don't mind hitting the like button and also hitting the subscribe button, if you haven't subscribed, I think about 75% of the people that watch my videos haven't subscribed yet. It's my birthday coming up in 10 days, and I'm hoping to hit 5,000 subs. I do videos every day on all different topics from long-term investing to just what's happening with the stock like in this scenario to all different types of stuff but uh, we have some exciting videos that I'm really excited about shooting soon and you know join the family I would really appreciate that also if you want to join our patreon you can join that and get on our discord I talk to the people pretty much every day or every other day that are in there answer questions and it's it's tiered so you can have different options for what you want to sign up for but then if you had asked me today i would have been able to tell you why workhorse was up and then you would be able to get more real-time uh, news than maybe what you got if you didn't know where to look for this so workhorse is up 7.37 percent today and it's down a little bit after hours but it was up about 11 percent at one point I have a market value of just under $200. I have a cost basis of 192.88. I'm up, you know, 3.5%. I invest in this because I feel like there's a really good long term potential with the USPS contract. And actually, I did a video just recently where the CFO talked about some different questions that investors have. So one of uh, my fellow YouTubers was able to interview him and they went over common questions and the other person that was interviewing him is actually a shareholder himself. So he was really able to provide a good, a really good view and a really good uh, set of questions to the CFO. So definitely check that out if you haven't checked it out already. But we were up significantly today and it's really on two different pieces of news, I think. So one is that on CNBC's Fast Money Halftime Report, John Najarian said that he's a buyer of Workhorse Group. He said they also noticed some unusual options activity in the name. So this is pretty interesting. I had heard about this this morning. Once I saw the spike, I took a look at actually my Webull app. There are links down below if you want to sign up for that. But I looked at my Webull app and some people were talking about this, that there's some unusual options activity that they had seen this on CNBC. And really what it was, was there were a ton of people that were buying these October 16 call options. So they want to be able to buy Workhorse on October 16, and they're betting that's going to hit $40 a share. So if we look, here's the volume, 3,362 options right here. So look at some of these other options. They are being bought and sold or being bought a lot less than these call options. So a lot of people think that Workhorse is going to hit $40 a share. So I think what they're really banking on is the fact that they get that USPS contract or at least part of it. They're thinking that Workhorse is going to shoot up in price and they are willing to bet on it. So they're willing to pay for this option and really taking a bet that Workhorse is going to hit $40 a share just in the next two months. So they really think that there's going to be 135% upside between now and then. Now that sent the stock price going up and you know, as someone that's a shareholder, I like to see this. I like to see a lot of other people thinking that the share price is going to go up dramatically. Now, at this point, it might just be people that can buy this for cheap and maybe don't want to buy the stock in general, but they want to have a lot higher upside potential without having to put as much money in the stock. But that's also riskier because you have the really high potential but then you have a potential that you would get zero from those options. That's definitely a high risk, high reward play. I'm not an options trader, so this is not something that I've ever done. I've never bought or sold options, puts or calls. So if you're gonna ask me about something like whether I would do this, I. I wouldn't do that. The reason I don't invest in options, it's just because I feel like it's a really high risk play 
And personally, I'm investing for the long term, so I'm okay without getting these massive amounts that you would get from an option because a lot of the time you end up with zero dollars from them. You end up losing money from these options. So let me know your thoughts below. I appreciate it. This is a very short video. I'm not even gonna hit eight minutes for this monetization. So if you guys don't mind going down to that Patreon and possibly signing up for that, that'd be awesome. And also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you don't mind hitting that like button, that also helps too. I appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.